Hey guys, I wanted to introduce myself to you um, and let you know exactly what my channel, what I'm trying to do really with these uh, kind of overviewing role playing games, maybe giving out tips as well as just um, kind of the knowledge that I've had um, running games, planning games uh, for a good part of two and a half decades. Um, my name's Brandon and I go by Savage GM on Twitter and Google Plus uh, if you'd like to contact me there. But you know, really what I want this channel to be and what I want my videos to be for role playing games, different from other guys, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that, that do uh, they do role playing game reviews. And they break down the system and how the system works and and you know what maybe doesn't work with the system. Well, I've got faith in you guys that you know what to do with the system that maybe has some flaws in it. You're gonna fix it, you're gonna tweak it, you're gonna do whatever you want with it. So I, my videos are not gonna be really focused really upon that that aspect of the hobby. Uh, those videos out there are very um, that do that are very um, helpful and they're out there and you can find them. You can get on uh, forums and, and read what people say and uh, help you out with those games. What I what I would like for my videos to do is to really spotlight what the role playing game is trying to make you feel as a player, as a game master so you have a better sense of how you should possibly maybe be running it because you know I'll be honest with you you know a lot of my videos they could you know some of the stuff I'm saying could be wrong you know that's the internet people are wrong about a lot of stuff but that's what I think it is that's the the feel that I get whenever I read a role-playing game or an adventure you know and I want to try to help um, other people maybe with uh, you know tackling some of the issues of, of, of in more advanced game mastering not that I'm some you know, great game master, um, you know, the best around or whatever. But I think there comes a time when you've been doing it for a while where you realize that you do know a little bit of what you're doing. And there might be people out there that whenever they're starting up, you know, they're facing those same challenges of running a game, running NPCs. Maybe um, they have a problem with speaking in character. Maybe your players do. Uh, how to interact with players that maybe, uh, you know, they're you know they're turtling in their shell they want to come out they want to speak so I figured I would do reviews well overviews really um, little tiny reviews I'm gonna tell you if I think it's good or not I mean if I'm looking at something more than likely it's gonna be pretty decent um, and if it's not good you know I still I still you know can sit there and, and see what the, the the creators of that game wanted you as a player as a game master to to feel, to be, you know, what, what, what's in your head? You know, I think a lot of times when I'm running stuff that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put what's in my head in your head. You know, so that's why I try to describe things when I'm playing a game uh, to the most degree that I can without getting really overboard. I want to uh, really touch on all the senses when I'm when I'm running a game, and as a player, I want to hear that as well. I want to hear about um, the way stuff feels, the way stuff smells, the way stuff, uh, you know, how does it look. Um, I've even, you know, every sense, even taste, uh, plays a factor whenever I, I try to describe stuff. And so um, I'm hoping that there's some people out there maybe that um, can use these videos to better run the system or the role playing game that I'm spotlighting. Um, maybe get some of the tips from it and improve their game. You're probably a much better game master than you think. Um, it's uh, sometimes it can be a very. Um, difficult hobby to continue with. Uh, being a game master sometimes the appreciation uh, value sometimes doesn't feel very high. It matters who your players are and hopefully you've got good players and that's not an issue. But it is an issue for a lot of game groups. And uh, I'm here you know just to, to say hey look this is this is what this this book or this setting is trying to put your characters in or this is what you're going to be facing. This is some of the, the difficulties that your characters will be in and some of the environments they'll be in. And do this with it. Have fun with that. And I'm not going to sit here and, and say, uh, don't use this mechanic or don't use that. Eh, that's dumb. That's, that's not who I am. You're going, to, you're going to do what you do to make it fun. And that's, that's the only real thing I can tell you. Um, I personally really like games where I can just run them straight out of the book with the rules used. And that's, you know, I'm looking for that perfect role playing game. And I know that's a that's a tough uh, that's a tough that's a big order to fill right there, 
So a lot of people, you know, they, they piecemeal a bunch of different games together. And so I'm not going to sit here and tell you what I, don't, you know, a whole bunch of what I don't think. Now, if something's completely broken, sure, I'll say, eh, that doesn't work for me. It could work for you. And a lot of stuff I say, it may not work for you. I might say, hey, this is great. I really dug this. I see what this author was trying to do. And this is what they were trying to, uh, you know, relay to the, the reader, the player. And, uh, you know, you may disagree. And that's all right. That's cool, you know. Um, but hopefully there's some people out there that will appreciate it. And, uh, you know, leave some comments. Leave some, some feedback. Um, you know, I'm hoping that this will be a long series. That's another thing, too. I, you know, I want these videos. I want to make a lot of videos. I, I, there's a lot of guys out there that do good reviews. And then they just stop. Uh, there's plenty of material out there. There's plenty of stuff to talk about. And I know that if you're out there watching these videos that you, you're you interested in the hobby and you know you appreciate that there's someone out there that's willing to just kind of spill out whatever he can, his knowledge that he has, and hopefully you'll put it to some good use. Um, you know, other than that, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, they're going to be a little bit shorter. Uh, make sure that you know, there's going to be some some tweaks I'll make to them over time, but uh, it's a new process, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them. And if you've got any suggestions, how to make it better, whatever the case may be, you know, leave a comment. Um, talk to me on Twitter, uh, Google Plus, whatever the case may be, and I'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Try to make it good, productive videos that really forge into the area of the feeling of games, the feeling of what that adventure is going to be like. What situations will your characters be in? How to maybe describe that? How to maybe um, act that out? I'm a big, big believer in that the, the game master is, you know, he's part theater troupe, he's part mime, uh, he's sound effects machine, he's just a uh, Swiss army knife of things that, that he does to really put the players in that their head put the players in that setting. So um, I'm hoping some of those will, you know, some of those tips will help uh, game masters out there and players also. Uh, a lot of the adventures that I'll be looking over, of course, they'll, they'll be for game masters only. So just be conscious of that. Um, don't want to spoil anything for, for you, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it and I hope, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, thanks.